Welcome to Desde Cero con Manuel. Bienvenidos a Desde Cero. On today's podcast from Northwest Educational Center, we have Anthony Sanchez. Anthony, welcome to the podcast. We appreciate you being here, man. Hey, it's, it's a pleasure and honor and a privilege to be here with you, Mr. Langorio. Yeah, uh, well, before we get going, before we start talking about Northwest uh, Educational Center, let's get to know you a little bit. Let's get to know our guest. Uh, Anthony, where, where are you from, Anthony? Yes, uh, my name is Anthony Sanchez. I'm from Houston, Texas. I grew up on the south side of Houston, Texas, on the southeast location on Park Place and Reveille. Okay. And uh, were, were you born in Houston? Yes, I was born in Houston. Okay. And uh, how did how did you how did you get involved with uh, this program, Northwest uh, Educational Center? Well, I was incarcerated ten and a half years. I was incarcerated since I was 17 years old. So when I came home from prison. I was thinking that there was no opportunities available to me. The only thing I knew how to do from prison was how to cut hair. So I went to Franklin Institute, Modern Barber College, and all of them were trying to charge me $20,000. And they were like, get a loan, put yourself in debt. And I was stressed out. And by the grace of God, an individual came up to me and said, there's a school that offers a no-cost program to the underserved community. Check them out. It's not a scam. So I went, emailed them, and instantly, in a couple hours, they emailed me back, said, hey, you want to come schedule an appointment? I told them I'm on an ankle monitor. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to my PO, try to get it stretched so I could go in. So they're like, no problems, no worries. Come on in when you can. So I came in, and I went about the process, and I was a student there. And while I was a student over there, like they helped me so much. They wrote letters to my parole officer, letting them know how I was doing that I was going to classes, and they, my PO stretched my hours on my, on my ankle monitor. So while I'm over here in school cutting hair, I just, I was inspired to help under, other individuals because I come from, as a lot of individuals would say, the ghetto. So I know how it is to go to school without a haircut, how it, how it is to be picked on because your clothes are dirty or your family don't got money like that. Right. So I said, man, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to offer free haircuts to all the kids because school is going to come up. I didn't want any kid to go to school without a fresh haircut. Okay. And social media is crazy. Eventually, the video got over 90,000 views. And from there, it just jumped off. I started promoting myself a lot more. I reached out to different activists and community leaders in the Houston location and by the grace of God, uh, Grizzy from the Hood News, me and her started working. She started, like, cross-promoting me, saying, hey, this this the kid giving out free haircuts, y'all. Y'all hit him up at Norwest Educational Center. From there, it just transitioned to something bigger. And, like I said, by the grace of God, because it's all by his faith. It's right. not what I wanted. It's by his faith that he directed me with genuine individuals that could see past my public image or my criminal past because it's not the past that defines us but our actions in the moments of adversity and controversy so when I came across uh, Steve Mares, uh his wife Miss Green and certain instructors over there they seen past the outer complexion and seen who I am as a person who I my goals my dreams my aspirations and my will to help other individuals from there we set up a Halloween event and we're able to serve over 15,000 people. Kids, families, give out candy, Halloween, uh, hunting houses and whatnot. And from there, while I was a student, Mr. Steve, he came up to me and said, Hey, would you be interested in working at Northwest Educational Center? I see that you have a passion to help the community. And he says, this is something that I feel that we lost over time. Is ever since the pandemic happened, right. they haven't had too many community events. Right. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, this is what I want to do. I never wanted to be a barber. I didn't want to always cut hair, but I felt I had no option because of my, my criminal history. So now I'm able to work where I'm able to contribute to society and elevate the Houston community and empower them through education. What, uh, what drove you to change your lifestyle? What what made you want to do what you do now with the uh, Northwest Educational Center? What was that turning point for you? 
It was, you can say it's when I was sentenced to 16 years in prison. I did 10 and a half years in prison. I was 17 years old and I seen how you can have a Caucasian male have the same kind of crimes as a Latino or African American and get off with probation or parole. You'll have somebody molest or kill someone and get off with probation. And because you're Latino or African American, they're going to give you 25 years to 45 years incarcerated. They're not going to give you a second chance. And then I realized that there is no help for the underserved community. You have people that say, uh, we offer opportunity to everybody, that everybody has the same opportunity. But how can you say we have the same opportunity if you didn't grow up in the environment that we grow up in? Because life is like a, a cup of coffee. You set it in a room and let it sit. Eventually, it's going to become room temperature. Right. So us being underserved, we're just going to become room temperature. If we grow up in poverty, we grow up in the slums, we grow up in the hoods, we watch and see what other individuals are doing and we replicate it. And some of us do it to a full degree. I don't know if you're familiar with Huey P. Newton. Huey P. Newton wrote a book on revolutionary suicide. It's something about reactional to suicide because, for instance, growing up in the ghetto, we're going to be affected by uh, crime. We're going to be uh, affected by basically the circumstances we're living in. Right because we're a product of our environment. So then we start acting out because we feel like we want to die. Either our mom is a drug addict, our dad's a drug addict. One of them committed suicide. Our family's not there, so we don't know nothing. So we lash out. We lash out by robbing, stealing, because we just want to die. But Huey P. Newton said that we might want to die because it's reactional suicide to the situations around us and the environment around us. But to be revolutionary, revolutionary suicide means to live and die for a belief greater than yourself. And it's not necessarily being a radical and doing something extreme. It's dedicating yourself to a cause bigger than yourself. And when I read that book, and while, I'm, while I was incarcerated, right. I realized I wanted to dedicate myself to something greater than myself. Dedicate myself to change the way people think and help individuals from the underserved community. Wow, that's that's, that's amazing, that's a good story. And, and and who's the author of this book? It's uh, Huey P. Newton. Okay. He was the founder of the Black Panther Party okay. in 19, I believe, 67. Wow, so uh, soon after that, I guess you got you get hired with, with Northwest uh, uh, Educational Center. What is your job title? Uh, I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator, Marketing Manager, and a Mission Rep. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get let's start talking about Northwest Education Center and uh, how they can help the community. Uh, what is what is Northwest Educational Center? Well, Northwest Educational Center is a vocational training school that has been open for around thirty years. They've been serving the underserved community through their no cost program to individuals that qualified and empowering the underserved community through education. Okay, and uh, what uh, what does what does Northwest Educational Center offer? Well, they offer courses in barber, cosmetology, medical assistance, and pharmaceutical technician. Okay, uh, <clears throat> when are programs offered, and and where? Uh, we're located at twenty nine ten Antoine Drive. We have flexible schedules. Mm -hmm. We have a morning class from eight to two thirty, and a night class from six to ten. But we understand that. Everybody's, uh, everybody has different needs, so we're, we have flexible schedules where we'll work at the individual's convenient so they can get an education because we believe that everybody's family, everybody deserves a chance. Right. We understand that some people are single moms just trying to get an education in cosmetology, medical assistant to provide for their child, but they're working and they have kids and they got to take them to school, so we'll work with our students so they can get in the career of their choice. Right. And uh, how long does it take to, to complete one of these courses? So it takes anywhere from eight to nine months to a year. It varies on individuals. Right. It depends on, on, on what program on what you're program. in, right? The barber and cosmetology program is usually a thousand hours. So it 
just matters how much time and effort you commit to it. Okay. Uh, how much of the tuition is paid? Uh, students graduate debt free, right? Yes. Through through in house scholarships combined with attendance incentive programs and stuff like that. Explain all that that to to well, the public. They have to actually. We work through a Pell Grant. A okay. lot of individuals don't know what FAFSA. You got to fill out a FAFSA right. application to see if you qualify for financial aid. What people don't tell you with FAFSA, you have loans and grants. Right. We don't believe in the loan route. We want the individuals to get the grant available to them. And then we go with our in-house scholarship, and it'll cover the tuition. Okay. And uh, how do you qualify? How, do, how does one uh, a student qualify for, for these programs? They will have to come in and fill out the FAFSA application. Okay. And you guys can, can help with this process? Yes. Okay. With our and career specialists, we'll speak with them and help them with the process. Okay. What hours are, are, are you guys available to, for, for this uh, uh we're program. we're open Monday through Friday, and we'll do open enrollment from eleven to four o'clock every day. Okay. Uh, if you don't qualify, is is there a payment plan that that Northwest Educational Center offers? Yes, just because they won't say, for instance, they won't qualify for the Pell Grant, doesn't mean they're not going to qualify for our in-house scholarship, and if they don't qualify for the Pell Grant, we're going to match the competitors' prices and do it at the lowest cost possible for the underserved community. So, for instance, let's say Franklin Institute says, oh, we got our classes, we'll give you it for $5,000. we right. are going to match their price and beat it. Okay. So so you, you, got, you guys are, are, are kind of motivating these guys, these kids, uh, these students to, to not have an excuse to yes. attend these programs. And, and, and get a higher education, right? Yes. Okay, so you, you guys are going after it and say, you, you can make it, you can come here, and you can make something of yourself, right? Yes, that's most definitely. That's what this program's about. That, that's what it's about. It's, it's ba the program's about, you can say it's being revolutionary. Right. To impact the community the way we're taught to think, because a lot of individuals are taught what to think, not how to think. We're taught to believe that you have to do this, work a nine to five, we try to teach and equip our students to be entrepreneurs in society. For instance, me and a barber, if you make $275 a day for 365 days, it's $100,000 in a year. In our barber and cosmetology program, we're going to speak about LLCs, DBAs, EINs, teach them about business credits, okay. how to establish their self in the community. So aside, aside from the skill, you, you teach them uh, financial as well. Fi fi financial, the business okay. side. That's, and, yeah, that's important. Mm -hmm. And that's even important. in our medical assistance program, unlike other programs, our medical assistance program offers billing coding okay. in the program so they won't have to go to college and take additional classes. It's all in one. It's all in one. Wow. Uh, what are the job opportunities that come from your program? <clears throat> well, the job opportunities that come, for instance, if you're in the medical field, a lot of individuals, like I said earlier, don't know that once you're in the medical field, you get your certification and you're working for, like, let's say a major hospital like Methodist, they will pay for your higher education. Mm. And your whole education will be at no cost all the way through. And now the ends are limitless. You'll be making over $100,000 a year because, say, if they you want to be a doctor, these hospitals are going to pay for that. They're going to pay for your education because they want you to represent their corporation. Right. Our pharmaceutical program, say you're working at Kroger, CVS, you're a pharmaceutical technician. But working with a franchise, you're going to go through the ranks. It might take 10 years, but eventually you're going to be in a management position through, say, for instance, Kroger Pharmaceutical. Now you're running over 25 stores because you understand the process right. of the system. Right. The, the employer wants want skilled skilled people yes okay and with barber and cosmetology like i said it's we're going to teach you the business aspect right. how to establish yourself and on top of that if you make 275 dollars a day 365 days it's a hundred thousand dollars yeah yeah so uh when can they start when, when can a can a can a student start the program is, is there is there uh, uh sessions is are, are there you know uh 
certain months that you start summer programs when when can they start uh, honestly like we only take a certain amount of students per month due to the scholarship okay so it's when they come in they fill out the application we'll have to run them if they qualify we'll get them in the next week or the, or two weeks process and give them a start date but we we only have limited spots per month due to scholarships. How, how many spots do you know? How many how many spots available per month? Honestly, I could I can't give you the number, but I might think give it around like thirty. Thirty. That's still a good amount. You know, that's still a good amount. So, you know, you guys go out there and, and yes. fill out the forms, right? Yeah, fill out the forms, get them in, and fill up the spots next month right. so who, who do they contact for all this who do they contact they could contact me anthony sanchez at norwest educational center they could find us on google at nwc.edu they could find us at norwest educational center on facebook uh nor nwc.life on instagram or they could find my personal page at illuminating cuts on facebook and reach out to me okay well, that's, that, that sounds real real interesting and real awesome, man, for the community. So, like I said, there's there's no excuse. If, if yes. you don't have a skill and you want to learn a skill, this is, this is the place to go, right? Yes, most definitely. Uh, let's talk about the community outreach team, okay? <coughs> who's, uh, who's part of the team? Well, the community outreach team, it's me, Anthony Sanchez, and my associate, Marissa Fretwell, and Mr. Toledo. Okay. and Lucas Jones. So we're part of the community outreach team that goes out markets and tries to attract the masses. When I say uh -huh. attract the masses, to gain their attention and let them know about this amazing opportunity. Right. Because a lot of people need to hear this living within the underserved community. Right, right. Uh, what is the goal? For the, for the community for, team, outreach team? Our goal for the community outreach team, honestly, is we don't aspire to make a living. We aspire to make a difference and impact the community through education and elevate them through education with hands-on education. Okay. Uh, and when I, when, when I post this, this podcast, I, I'm going to try to put as much information as I can. So if, if they're watching this podcast, they go down, go down to the script description and, and yes. maybe go, go to the link, maybe get some phone numbers. Maybe get your uh, social media uh, yes. names and all that stuff. So, so that information is going to be on the podcast. So, uh, if you need it, it's going to be there. And like I said, it's a good program. You know, I know Mr. Steve Myers, and, and he's he's a great guy, and, and he is. I know Ben. He's he's a great boxer yeah. too, man. So, hey. so good luck to them, and 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 I appreciate you know him sending you and and. Uh, you know, to, to give this information out because, like, like you said, when we were talking before the podcast, people don't people don't tell us about these things, right? They don't. They they don't tell us about the opportunities right. available to us. They don't tell us that. They tell us it's the land of the free. That we have the opportunity to pursue happiness. That there's opportunities available to us. But while we're going to school, they don't tell us how to utilize the tools in the system. Right. To get the educations or get the certifications that we need they just teach us basic math basic reading and now we're off in the society not having the resources or understanding how to use the resources available to us it's not that we're dumb in the underserved community it's we're ignorant we're taught what to think not how to think but once we're awakened by individuals that want to contribute to society or people that guide us now we're able to create an impact and a revolutionary change in today's society. Right, right. And, and that's important to, to people to know this stuff. You know, and that's why I have this podcast, man. So I can bring guys in, you know, like you yourself, intelligent, and let them know, hey, you guys can do it, man. You guys can make it out there. There's no excuse, right? Yes. No excuse. There ain't no excuse. I, like I said, I did 10 and a half years in prison. Right. And... I'm labeled a statistic to go back to prison because of my criminal past. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm breaking the chains right. and the mold that society puts on me. Because they tell me, oh, you're going to go back to prison. You're going to be doing drugs. You're going to be doing this. But instead, I'm out here contributing to society, educating people, right. empowering people. And I'm trying to change the way of thinking 
so no kid, no child could ever have to go through what I go through. Right. Uh, Northwest Educational Center also uh, uh, hooks up with other organizations. Yes. And also has events, right? Yes. Uh, let's let's go through some of these uh, some of these uh, events and these other organizations that you guys uh, get together with, so y'all can go out there and help the community. Uh, one of the things that you guys do is you give a uh, free backpacks to school or free haircuts. Free haircuts. Right? Free haircuts for uh, Houston ISD. Yeah, for HISD, like we work with. Houston ISD, we work with TDCJ to help people reintegrate back into society. Well, I locked in something with the parole division, so people being released from prison, they could come to our school, and we're going to waive the registration fee. Okay. And we're going to help them get into school. Say, say that again. Say that again. We're going to waive the registration okay. fee to ex-offenders okay. and help them reintegrate back into society and work with the parole division all over Houston and let them know just because of your criminal past, we're not going to judge you. We're not going to look down on you, but we're going to empower you. We're going to lift you up because, like I said, if I could do it, you could do it. Right. And we worked with TDCJ on top of that. We worked with uh, Edward Pollard from District J. Mm -hmm. We worked with... Uh, uh, Judge Lozano from Precinct 2. Who else did we work with? We worked with Grizzly Hood News. Okay. And we did a Christmas event. The the toy drive over there at Northwest Educational Center was called the North Star in the Hood. Right, right. So we are able to give out over $30,000 worth of toys to the underserved community. And we worked with multiple organizations all over Houston's. Uh, different council members we worked with different uh, Houston groups like uh, for instance the Salvation Ar Army mm -hmm. to help the homeless or people that are young kids that are about to be homeless right well you guys work with the Houston Health Department right it's on the homeless street festival yes what, yes. Is, what is that about what's that about honestly my my co-worker Marissa Fretwell set that up mm -hmm. where we were able to go out Give out haircuts to those that are almost homeless. Give out haircuts, inform them about education, bring them into the school so they can get an education while they're staying in these halfway houses. Okay. So we work like partnerships with them because we understand their situation, their circumstances. Right, right. But we're trying to give them a way out, and we're trying to bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. And when I say bridge the gap, because we understand. A lot of people need a second chance, but some people were never given a first chance. And we're trying to stop people going to prison and give them that first chance okay. they need. Right. And uh, October's coming up, so you, do, do you guys have a Halloween event coming up? Yes. Tell me about that. It's going to be our second annual Halloween event. And it's going to be October 31st, Halloween night from 6 to 9, where we're going to be giving out, it's called Trunk or Treat. We're going to be giving out candy. To the kids so they could be in a safe environment and go trick-or-treating because you have to understand there's a lot of you could say predators out there right you have a lot of sex offenders whatnot out there doing things to kids or people drugging the candies with fentanyl or whatnot we, we want to give them a safe atmosphere to go trick-or-treating where their families don't have to worry about their kids getting abducted or nothing like that right um what is Grizzly Hood News? Grizzly Hood News? <laughs> because you guys, you guys, like you say, you guys throw a Christmas event for with, with Grizzly Hood News. Yeah, Grizzly, Grizzly she's, a, she's a media personality. Okay. Y'all can follow her on Facebook. And, and what, what, is, what is her Facebook uh, page? Grizz, Grizzly Hood News. Grizzly Hood News? Yes. Okay. And, man, she's, she's an amazing person, man. She's very inspirational, and she's very empowering to the community. Okay. And she informs the community of what we need to know in the Houston community and the other underserved community. All right. Um, what other organizations do you guys uh, get together with to to kind of spread the word on, on Northwest uh, Educational Center? Uh, is it uh, Jessica Jean? And, and, oh, Jessica Jean and, from and the Late her, Night Hustle. Okay. Yeah, well, we had an event where her... I believe a couple of weeks ago and it was more on woman empowerment and to stop sex trafficking. Okay. So we, we work with like I said different 
local media analysts. We work with different community leaders all over Houston just to inform people about this opportunity. We, we don't just focus main we just don't focus mainly on for for say oh the underserved community when i say underserved people might think oh i'm talking about latinos african americans but underserved has no color right. no race right so we're going to help women that are struggling we're going to northwest educational center worked with the pride parade and we gave out more than, I think, like 400 water bottles, and we gave our haircuts. Okay. So we don't discriminate against race, gender, belief, religion. We're open to all individuals. As long as you're human and you want to make a change, we're here to help. Okay. Uh, let me go over again the, the programs offered, okay, so so people can, can try to drill this in their head because this, this is a good program. Uh, pharmacy technician. Yes. Medical assistant. Cosmetology, uh, barbering, class A barber. Yeah, class what, A barber. What, uh, cosmet cosmetology instructor, okay, and then construction technology. Yeah, construction technology hasn't been open to the public, but it's coming soon, and it's something that's going to be right. revolutionary all over Houston. Right. Uh, I went on your <coughs> website, and, 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 and it gives a list on what you're going <coughs> to offer. Right. Yes. And it's roofing, painting, carpentry, uh, drywall insulation, drywall and insulation, electrical flooring, basic plumbing, general AC maintenance, basic concrete, cement, construction management, floor plan and blueprint reading. You know, uh, estimates, proposals for job bids, learn shop and OSHA safety procedures. Uh, that caught my attention because I'm in I'm in that uh, I'm in that in that in that business yes of construction I'm a project manager uh, for a millwork company and I just uh, moved from a from a, a, a mechanical company yes and there there there's a shortage of labor exactly with with the with these uh, uh, with these uh, Jobs that I just mentioned. Yes. Okay. People don't know. People don't realize how 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 much of a shortage there is. Uh, I just came from a mechanical company with AC, HVAC and plumbing, and there is a shortage of labor. There are no HVAC people. There's a shortage of plumbers, and they make good money. Exactly. Okay. So when I read that you guys were going to offer that, that just caught my eye, because we need people to have these skills in order for this world to work, right? You know, we, you walk into a house, there's AC, there's plumbing, there's everything. And, yep. and, and there's a shortage with people with these skills. Uh, and I don't think people realize how, mu how much money or good money you can make with these skills. Yeah, most definitely. Our program, we're going to teach them how to be private contractors. Right. With, especially in Houston, with it being ever-expanding and growing, we're going to teach them how to build a house from the ground up. Right. And we're going to teach them the business aspect and go more into depth on the business yes. aspect as well. Yeah, yeah, that that's huge. That's huge because, like I said, you know, and it's this generation is, is, is not wanting to learn these trades and these skills. And these are very important skills and very well-paid skills. Yes. So it's uh, Northwest Educational Center. It's that's a, that's a big plus, man. Most definitely. So uh, what 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 other events are coming up for this program? So we have the Halloween event. And then what what day is that? Do you, do it's you have be a, the on date? October thirty first. Okay. Then we're gonna have a Thanksgiving event coming up, where we're gonna gather food and we're gonna give out plates of food to the underserved community and feed those less fortunate this Thanksgiving. Okay. After that, we're gonna host another toy drive. We're thinking around December sixteenth. That's what we're looking forward to. We have uh, different events coming up where we're partnering with Jessica Jean. It's going to be November 3rd. 
is going to we're gonna be giving out free haircuts um, on the 6th of November. I'm going to be on the pri pri prison show, on the radio show on NPR. I'm going to be speaking about reintegration back into society, speaking about Northwest Educational Center. Uh, and for, for now, we have just small events with TDCJ where we're going to go speak to ex-offenders and inform them about our program. Okay. Uh, what else would you like to add to the podcast? What, what else did, do you want to cover that, that you think that we didn't cover? Because we don't want to uh, miss on out anything. We want, we want to try to get as much information as we can. The only thing I can say is that come down to Northwest Educational Center. We're located at 2910 Antoine Drive. Come ask for me, Anthony Sanchez, and I'll be more than willing to assist you with any questions and answer any questions you have. And hopefully we could get you enrolled and we could change some lives. Right, most definitely. I, th I think this program could help a lot of people. Uh, Anthony, what, what do you want to add to the podcast? What do I want to add? Yeah, something. Part, what, what, what do you want to add from the heart, man? What, what, what do, do you I want to say? add? Because when, before the podcast, man, you were talking, man. You were saying stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, what I could add, it's, how can I say it? You know, life's like a book. We write our stories every day. Right. It's just what story that you want to write. You want to write a story of someone that overcame adversity or an individual that gave up. Can you rise above your current situation, set yourself on a higher plane of understanding, and break the chains of oppression, and become someone not only to your family and your community, but someone to yourself? Understand your worth within this realm of existence. Understand who you are as an individual and understand the individual that God wants you to be. All right. See, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> well, man, Anthony, I appreciate you being here. Uh, I told Steve I was going to keep you under 30 minutes, so I, I didn't want to keep you here all day. And and uh, I wish I could talk to you all night, man, because, you know, you, you're a very intelli intelligent person and uh, you're a go-getter, man. And uh, you help the community, and uh, we appreciate it. You hey. know, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody appreciates what you do. Okay, so uh, you want to send any shout-outs before we go? Yeah. Uh, hey, look, I want to send a shout-out to Steve Mares. Yes. Hey, that's my mentor right there, man. That man been my biggest inspiration since coming home. He didn't judge me. He didn't look down on me because right. my criminal past, him and his family, accepted me and took me in like their own son and guided me, molded me. And show me a better way of living. I want to give a shout out to Miss Fredwell. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Toledo. All our team at Northwest Educational Center. I want to give a shout out to Grizzly Hood News. That's my homegirl. I want to give a shout out to everybody that helped me on this mystical quest in life. That helped guide me. I want to give a shout out to my uncle and my grandma. All right, man. Well, Anthony again. Mr. Sanchez. Yes. Thank you for being here. And I appreciate it. And uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to There's a Settle Con Manuel on YouTube. Keep the channel growing. You know, good things keep happening to the podcast. We keep having better and better uh, uh, guests. So, yes. uh, Anthony, man, appreciate you hey. being here. And uh, thank you all for, being, uh, for tuning in. And we see you all next time. And thank you all. See you all.